Hey everyone, Jeff here from PhotoWalk Pro, and today I'm going to show you a little, a uh, kind of a, a a fun tip in Lightroom, and it's about selecting colors in Lightroom. And I've been working a lot with Lightroom for beta because I'm writing a a book for the Snapshots to Great Shot series on using Lightroom, and I've been testing out some different things, showing some stuff to some friends, saying, "Hey, what do you think of this?" and and so I was working in the book module, showing them some of the features of that, and I went to go change the the font color of my book title and when I did it they kind of they didn't realize that you could do it the way that I did which was to select a custom color right from my photograph um, they had no idea that you could do that so I thought if they didn't know maybe you don't know and maybe I'll show you today so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and show you how you can pick a custom color directly from your photograph and that way it really complements the the colors in your image and you can do this not just in the book but there's other places too and we'll kind of cover that a little bit too in just a minute but anyway let's go ahead and start with the book module here and here I am and I've got my my book title already laid out and so what I'm gonna do is go to the type uh, palette over here and inside the type palette down here you can see where it says character and right next to that is this little black rectangle uh, and what that does is that opens up the color palette so that's how we change the color so I'm gonna click on that and just open up the color palette and there you can see I've started off with a black and white color palette not very exciting um, but I could use this uh, and pick inside here and pick a color and, and you know that's great but also the other thing I can do is slide this vibrancy slider up and that really raises the saturation now you can see the colors and now when I click inside I can I can click here oh you know one thing I need to do let me close this out because what I really need to do is I gotta select my text there now my text is selected so that anything I do will actually apply to my text so we'll go back in there and now you can see as I I raise the saturation slider over here and I start picking in here now you can see the text color really starts to change and I really want to pick a, a, a font color that's going to be complementary to the image uh, that's on the front cover so what I'm going to do is instead of actually using one of these colors which you know some of these are not too bad that I'm over but I really want something that's exactly going to complement and to do that what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that eyedropper I'm going to hold my mouse button down I'm going to take that eyedropper and I'm going to come right over here and slide right off the page and look what happens that's right as I move that eyedropper around anything that is directly underneath that eyedropper becomes my selected color which means I can now use a color directly from my photograph as my color for my font or any other thing that I want to select color for so I'm going to pick a color right here kind of a, a nice little complementary color right down how about right there perfect now I let go and it selects the color and I'm good to go now I could have found that color using uh, maybe the hue saturation uh, luminance numbers down below or the RGB values but the chances are I probably wouldn't have but by using my eyedropper and sliding directly over my image and picking the exact color I want now I know that it matches and it complements my photograph and that's exactly what I want so let me go ahead and close that now as I said you can use this in other areas in Lightroom wherever you can actually pick a custom color um, you can use this feature so let's go ahead and slide over to like the print module and this is you know there, there's quite a few areas in the print module where you can select colors so let me go over here and pick a different photograph um, let me just get uh, let's see I like this one right here this is kind of a nice bright photograph there and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use that same feature that same uh, ability to pick a palette and let's go ahead and, and maybe do a uh, stroke on here uh, like a little colored border so I'm gonna go into the image settings and I'm just gonna click in the little checkbox there next to stroke border and then you'll notice I've got this same little black color box over here and I'm gonna click on that and open up the palette and there we go it's the same palette look at that so now as I click with my eyedropper inside and drag it off the page oh hang on there we go drag it off the page now you can see that I can actually choose any color I want for that stroke so let me just go maybe this kind of this gold right here would be kind of cool that looks kind of nice so I'm gonna click on that and let go and just so you can see it a little better let's raise the width of that stroke just a little bit here and now you can see that there indeed is that stroke with the exact color that I selected from inside my image and of course you can use this for things like um, Let's go down here to the page section. If you look at the background color, I could actually 
change the background color to something that's complementary from inside my image as well. So once again, same trick, click and drag. And look at this, I can actually drag to other elements of Lightroom. I don't have to drag in the photograph. Look at this, as I drag over the other elements in Lightroom, it actually selects those colors. I'm picking up all those grays, and which isn't really great, but um, it's really cool because here's another thing that you can do also. You can actually take this eyedropper, and if you had, say, a web page open with a photograph next to your Lightroom, like, you know, you resized everything, you could drag that eyedropper into the web page and select a color. You let go, and you've got that color. Now, I'm kind of, let me just pick something. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Um, but just to kind of show you what you can do here, um, you know, let me pick this little kind of a darker color right about there and let go. And there you go. So that's just kind of a nice little way of picking complementary colors from directly inside your image and using them as a component in your image to really kind of, you know, highlight things and kind of add some of your own personal style. So there you go, using the eyedropper to select custom colors from inside your image for things like strokes and text and background colors. If you didn't know you could do it in Lightroom, you do now. All right, I'm Jeff from PhotoWalk Pro and you have a great day.